Oh, here we are again. It's like a bee vineyards. Ashley and Sarah here. <laughs> Today we're featuring our bubbly Riesling, which comes in a lovely can. It's a medium dry style and it's perfect for on the go. So we're doing mimosas this morning because it's 10 a.m., 11 a.m., and we're having brunch, so. I mean, the sun is shining, so we thought it would be fun to share our brunch with you. Yeah. So we do offer mimosa flights here at the winery, uh, something we started last fall, and it's uh, become increasingly popular. So we have a selection of different flavors you can choose from, uh, and it comes with a flight of five samples for six bucks. Today, um, I did tart cherry juice with um, the bubbly Riesling, because I prefer tart cherry juice. <laughs> And I went uh, with some fresh squeezed orange juice. Yes, that's right. I got my juicer out. I squeezed some orange juice. Put the work in, people. Squeeze your own oranges. And, and you don't have to like orange juice to like mimosas. There are so <laughs> many different flavors, yeah. so many different types of uh, juices. Pick your favorite. Yeah. So support your local farm stores, get your favorite juice, and uh, grab our bubbly Riesling and make some mimosas of your own. Yeah, we're here out on our pavilion. A lot of people get married um, right here. But we have the vineyards behind us. This is the High Banks Vineyards. Riesling was grown right up here. And the yeah. vineyards behind us. <laughs> So this is a medium dry style. It's not like our dry Riesling. It's not like our semi dry Riesling. It's kind of right in the middle. Very floral, Very um, floral. aromatic, and it's that perfect base. If you want to make wine cocktails or spritzers, but it's also delicious right on its own. You can always put it in a flute, a fancy glass like we did for you here today, but really the convenience with these 8.5 ounce cans is to drink it right out of the can. Yeah. So People think that canned wine for some reason is cheap. Uh, it's actually comparable and price-wise to bottling, sometimes a little more expensive than putting your wine in a bottle. But it's really about the convenient package. Um, there's no aluminum that touches your wine. These are all lined yeah, cans. Yeah, they have a lining in them. Just so. like soda. So the metal you're tasting is kind of all in your head. Yeah, there's really no metal taste. Yeah. It's really for those people who want the convenience for your tailgates, um, hiking, yeah. boating, <laughs> your kids' soccer games, golfing. <laughs> I'm late. Yeah, it's all good though. It's a great day to be outside. That's why we're out here. Hi, Fred. Hey, Fred. This is Fred. He's the vineyard dog. He's a frisbee Fred. This morning, we decided to have brunch from a local takeout here in Canandaigua, New York. They also have another location in Pittsburgh. Simply Crepes. Woohoo! I love them for breakfast, but you can have them for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They're open 8 a.m. 8 a.m. they open up, um, they take orders, and they do the curbside delivery, or they also do a Grubhub delivery, I believe, as well. Yeah, so. And they also have awesome um, promotions going on right now. Kids eat free every single day of the week, which is awesome. They also do a family meal pack. They have mimosas and wine and beer and everything to go. Um, so definitely check out their, their menu. They have delicious stuff. Pre-pandemic, Simply Crepes was featuring Zuggaby Vineyard Semi Dry Riesling yeah, as the, the wine month. of the month. Yeah. Um, so obviously we got cut short this time around, <laughs> but um, every month they're featuring a new local wine. I'm sure um, after this is all over, they'll return to supporting those local yeah. wineries. So we really appreciate their local support. I think it's pretty cool that they want to spread uh, awareness of the Finger Lakes wines here in the region. Yeah. Check them out. They have savory and they have sweet crepes. We went with the savory today. We're more of savory kind of gals. We get our sweet with our mimosas. Yeah. So we think it's the perfect it's pair. It's the balance. Sparkling wine is actually notorious for being able to pair with pretty much everything. That's what's fun about it. And if you're really not sure what to pair, especially with appetizers or desserts, um, and then, which is why I think it's so prominent in brunch, because you get a little bit of everything in brunch, a sparkling wine is going to go very nicely with that. What better way to uh, brighten up your juice than throw a little sparkling wine in it? So. That's what makes it great. I mean, we open up the summertime at 10 a.m., so I know a lot of people coming out, they're not going to want to you know, start with wine right off the bat. So we offer mimosa, so this is a good place to start, honestly, your tour. Start here, you can get a mimosa flight, sit out on our deck. You could get uh, mimosas by the glass as well. If you have a favorite flavor. Yep. Or you could just get the cans. Um, we, we offer glasses of bubbly for you guys. So you could just get the bubbly Riesling itself. 
And you can have that at 10 a.m. or you could have that at 4.30 p.m. We don't judge you. Yeah. Whenever you want to drink mimosas, it's fine by us yeah. here at Zuggabees. Well, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna... Drink this mimosa, because <laughs> I can't just look at it. We're gonna grab our food. From Simply Crepes, we have the rugby over here, which looks like a hamburger. It's literally steak, cheddar, Russian um, dressing, pickles, lettuce. lettuce. It's literally a, a hamburger. A better hamburger. It's gonna be delicious. Yeah. And then these are local sausage from Bostrom Farms, which mm -hmm. is another local farm. Yep. And eggs, and it has a bacon cream, and that's on a crepe, so. It's delicious. I've had this one before. It's really, really good. But I'm looking forward to the, the huge one over there. The Big Daddy. Uh, big Daddy. Um, brunch has always been a cool way to bring people together. But if you can't be with those you love, uh, take in the sunshine and order some takeout brunch from a local place. You could even whisk up your own brunch and have it with some mimosas. And enjoy the sunshine. Get outside. Have a picnic. Well, uh, let's dig in. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> I love maple sausage. <gasps> Look at that, it's a pickle. With some cheese and that taste of orange juice. I mean, a little bit about the tasting notes of our bubbly Riesling. So, forced carbonation. Just like soda, you're actually injecting CO2 into the wine after it's completely done fermenting, finished product. You're injecting that CO2 to get those bubbles. A little bit different than um, Method Champenois. The Finger Lakes, as well as throughout the world, are using the traditional method uh, to produce those um, sparkling wines that are a little um, smaller in bubbles, and that's used with a second fermentation. So that's where you're getting that yeasty taste from. Toasty bread notes and things mm. like that. Mm -hmm. I'm tasting this and I'm just getting like bright, fresh um, lemon and lime, and you're getting kind of that floral aspect, almost like a jasmine flower. Yeah, our Riesling's really taken that lemon lime or that jasmine flower. It has a lot to do with the yeah. soil that they A little bit from, of herbaceous. You get, you get lots of floral notes from our Riesling. Fresh Riesling is gonna taste a little bit different than aged Riesling too. This is one that's typically meant to be drunk young. I mean, you're gonna have it in the can, it's gonna stay fresh um, for until you open it, really. So it's gonna taste fresh and good and it's really gonna preserve it and have a little bit of that ageability. It's meant to be drunk young within a few years. Yeah. Often bubbles tend to make a wine taste a little bit drier because that sparkling taste takes away a little bit of um, the fruit notes and that's why we went with a medium sweet Riesling here. So just on the cusp of about 1% residual sugar, um, 8.5 ounce can size, three of these is gonna equal one bottle of wine and you're gonna we get a four, a four pack, pack here. Yeah. And that's gonna be a $16 four pack. Um, Except this week. Today. It is now 20% off because it is the wine of the week, obviously. Wow. So a four pack, um, which is a whole liter of wine. It's not 750 milliliters. It is a whole liter. So you get kind of a freebie um, with that extra can in there. $16 for in the 20% off plus tax. It's a great deal for a liter of wine. It will last you a pretty long time too because this is about a glass and a half per can. So eight, don't be fooled. It's, eight and a half ounces. It's not a beer. Don't be fooled. Eight and a half ounces. It's not a beer. Mimosas with the food, and I would definitely enjoy just um, a plain old can of this with a lot of different types of foods, um, or on its own, which is another thing that's fun about bubbles. You don't necessarily need food to enjoy them. Um, bubbles are known to be celebratory um, yeah. by nature. It's a uh, kind of tradition to pop that bottle of bubbly um, to celebrate. As consumers nowadays, we're learning to enjoy bubbles not just for special occasions, but all the time. And kind of every day is a, a special occasion to open uh, some of our bubbly. Yeah, and we do have Easter coming up this following week, so you're able to purchase the four pack, and that way for Easter brunch, you and your family or whoever you're getting together with um, this holiday, you guys could have um, some mimosas to start off with. So in addition to our WOW discount that we're offering on the Bubbly Riesling this week, we also have um, a coupon code. Type in support local. That's gonna be your coupon code for 15% off your purchase. Uh, this is good all the way through uh, Saturday, uh, April 11th. So the day before Easter there. And our neighbors, they're awesome. They started this movement and they are going each week and supporting a local business. So, so we're the business for April 11th. Um, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. is pickup time. So you have uh, the rest of this week to use that support local code. We'll see you uh, Thanks for watching. next week.
Kiki. Tune in every Wednesday for Wow with Sarah and Ashley. Wow. Cheers, guys. We don't have, we should fill these up before we start. The pandemic is over and we're allowed to release uh, you back to the public <laughs> and have I wish we could get raw oranges. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't pick a local fruit. Cheers. <laughs> See what we eat. I'm pretty body. They look a little better with the cheese all melty and stuff. Hi! Toasty, like toasty bread notes and things. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking in my head. I was like, yeasty, what the hell is yeasty? <laughs> I am gonna show you guys a <laughs> quick, easy way. It's not as hard as people think it is to squeeze your own orange juice at home. So you get a big bag of oranges, um, handy dandy hand juicer squeezer thing. Uh, yep. They sell these for like seven bucks at Wegmans, guys, or you can order one on Amazon. Um, there's probably some really cool local kitchen stores like Locavore in Geneva that have them. So support your smaller businesses first if you can. Um, big oranges like this I like to cut into fourths. Um, but if you get some smaller uh, varietals or you want to go with tangerines or clementines, you can just cut them right in half and they pop right in. And uh, you want to squeeze into a bigger glass because if you try to go like that, it's not it's not going to help you. Um, so just squeeze a few. And everybody's a little bit different on how much juice they like in their mimosa. I like more bubbles overall. Um, but I'm going to probably squeeze, I think, half an orange in here. And you'll find uh, different varietals of oranges have different, you know, juice levels. These bad boys are just California navels. And they are really, really juicy. And you'll see, that's my little trick. You squeeze it, and then you tip it to let the rest of the juice come out. <laughs> that's a good trick. That way we shall not waste. Mimosas 101 with Ashley. I love pulp, so if you like pulp, fresh, uh, freshly squeezed is the way to go. So you take your juice like so, put it in your champagne glass, and take Zogby Vineyards Bubbly Riesling, top it off, Perfection. Cheers. Beautiful. And we'll see you next Wednesday on Wow. On with wow. Sarah and Ashley. Yeah.